Hi guys, welcome to Tactic Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use AI in Canva Magic Track Text Generator Tutorial. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now, in Canva, there are already multiple types of AI available for us to use. But for today's video, we will be solely focusing on the Magic Write Text Generator available for us right now. Now before, actually, you will only be able to use this feature in the docs of Canva. But right now, you will be able to use it on any type of platform or any type of canvas that you have. So let's check them out. Let's open our docs over here on a new tab. You can also create it on a presentation. Or you could also create and use this specific AI on any size that you have generated. So this will just imply or mean that you will be able to use this feature on any type of uh, platform or project that you're working on in Canva right now. Now let's go check it out in our presentation right now. This is the presentation. Now this is our typical editing screen. And to be able to find the AI, you're simply going to look over here on the bottom right. This is the button for the AI. Now, you can also check out other AIs over here on the left side under apps. There are other AI that you will be able to use such as the text to image. These are the different AI that you could utilize if you want. But we're going to be focusing on the magic right option. Now, you're simply going to, of course, select the, the button over here which is actually labeled Canva Assistant. Click this and there we go. You will be able to see the Magic Write option over here. Now keep in mind the Magic Write is a professional feature or something that you would need a plan to access this feature. And let's go discuss that later on but to be able to use this simply click this and there we go. You're simply going to enter a prompt that you would like AI to generate. So use five or more words to describe what you want. All right, there we go. So let's say I would like to have a quote about losing weight. There we go. So simply click on generate and it will generate you that specific prompt that you have asked. And as you can see, a quote about losing weight. Weight loss doesn't begin in the gym with a dumbbell. It starts in your head with a decision and it will also mention who said this. With This is a really great feature that you will be able to use in Canva, especially since Canva is a platform for design and all sorts of stuff. And you might need to fill in that design that you have created with information and you don't know what type of information or what type of text that you would like to add. You could utilize this magic right. So let's try it again. Click on this button, click on Magic Right, then let's uh, maybe use this, try an example. And it will give you a suggestion, 5 Twitter posts announcing a product launch for a new alarm clock phone. So let's generate this and let's see the output that we will be able to produce. And there we go. Now, depending on how much information you are asking it to produce, of course, the font will also change. But there we go. 5 Twitter posts announcing a product launch for a new alarm clock. Number one, wake up to a better tomorrow with our new alarm clock phone app. Say goodbye to oversleeping and start your day off right. And there's even hashtag and all of these options over here. It has a large potential and large capabilities on what type of information it will be able to produce. So, actually, let's try and generate something. Uh, let's use this CentOS. Let's make it carry it as a presentation. We go click on the AI again. Uh, let's not use this. There we go. Logic right. Create a short description about said quest. Then click on our enter over here and it will produce us a short description about set of S. And as you can see, this is our description about the specific topic that we are creating. CentOS is a free open source operating system that is based on the widely popular Red Hat or Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And this is very accurate because I have created a presentation earlier or lately about CentOS and this description fits the proper description. And then you can simply use this. You will be able to produce your 
PowerPoint and the information with the AI of Canva. And like I said, you are also able to use it on documents. But in documents, you will be looking under it in the app or the apps over here rather than this because it's not going to appear over here on the left side. So you're going to have to look for it. But also this option, add magic, you are also able to access it under the right magic over here under the plus beside this what Canva padala sa takot this is just a Filipino text for this Canva over here but if you click on the plus button click on magic right there we go you will be able to have something over here so uh, let's have this generate and as you can see it will generate our output over here let's fix our zoom a bit there we go and now we have our output over here a patent application is a legal document that must meet specific requirements if it's to be granted as you can see that it will generate you all the stuff that you need to have and there's also like the heading over here has been fixed then you could also like highlight a specific part click on the plus button you could either summarize the text expand the text rewrite or edit with magic right so let's uh let's say let's highlight everything i think we can only highlight a single part but there you go highlight everything click on the plus uh, let's say summarize text and it will summarize all of this information that you have right now into a smaller part as you can see this is like the summarized version without any of the description as you can see here only the specific steps and it's very simple now we can click on the plus again let's say i would like to expand the text and then we will be able to receive an expanded version of the highlighted text that we have just uh, selected and there we go we now have an expanded version very similar to the first version over here there we go very easy to use very simple you could use this for a lot of reasons and the other option that we have over here is oh where is it let's highlight this one click on plus the rewrite option so if you don't like a specific part that the ai has generated simply click on the rewrite option and then it will recreate that specific part only and there we go now from this it turned it into this uh, text over here which is very useful especially for when you're building a document now let's go check it out over here as well on my custom size i was able to produce it and we can, are able to use it still in this area under magic right as you can see same process click on the star and we can simply ask it to generate anything Let's actually look for a template over here that we could have. So let's say, uh, let's look for something, art and history, uh, maybe this one, let's open this, project overview, there we go, let's simply delete this parts over here for now, then let's say over here, importance of history, then simply click on the stars, uh click on magic right create a phrase that talks about the importance importance of history create a quote also then simply click on generate then uh, there we go we now have our output over here uh, you can simply change the font of this to an appropriate font that you like but let's fix this there we go delete this uh, history is the foundation of upon which we build our future then another quote is those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat them by george santayana there we go and you can see the potential of this to be used on, on multiple uh, levels of creativity you can use this on powerpoint any type of creation that you have in canva you can also utilize the ai either way and use it on other platforms if you like you could just use the ai to generate the information that you want now like we explained earlier this is for pro but to be able to access this you're going to have to access the plans and pricing over here and you're going to have to apply for a pro version to be able to use this application as you can see you have all other features as well if you would like to try them and the pricing for the pro version as you can see for the monthly uh it's 299 this is i think five dollars or six dollars 
in USD currency and the yearly is 2490 and this is I think uh $10 or no not $10 $40 something like that and uh, you would need to apply for a plan to be able to use the features that we have just explained today but that's it that is how you will be able to use the magic right of canva if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching